world, we're uh, we're starting a, a, another series uh, now, and this one's going to be called uh, "Loving Unconditionally," and it's broadly based on uh, the book you've written, uh, "Unconditional Love: An Unlimited Way of Being." And um, it's uh, this 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 book um, has a lot in it. I know I've, I've read it, and uh, we're going to have to uh, condense it into uh, about what seven seven um, episodes. Um, or chapters um, in order to cover it uh, broadly but what uh, what I think we, we both want to do is to make it uh, as practical for people and also as relevant to, to their to their lives today and um, this um, this particular episode is really to uh, just to give it an overview so if I could ask you to um, to, to, to give an overview of, of perhaps not the book but the what um, what you're talking about here unlimited way of being uh, and loving unconditionally uh, so would you like to you know <laughs> sure this is actually a really great a great Start. series for going into our personal power and recognizing our personal power and incorporating and being who we are in truth and light and love, who we are in capability, potential possibility. We are really magnificent beings. We are really truly beautiful, uh, inspired, creative beings. And I think, you know, in the way we live in our and have lived in our world, certainly the way I was brought up in the world, that is so far from what is really taught, so far what is really reflected, what is really shared and it's really this particular series of all the ones we've done is exciting to me because this is where we really are going to look at who we are in so many different ways and so many different perspectives to help ourselves reconnect with ourselves literally mm -hmm. you know to reconnect with that unlimited person we are because in fact that is our truth that is our potential you know in every moment we can think anew in every moment we can feel and imagine and create something completely different. We are no longer bound by what we were yesterday or what suggestions we accepted the day before or limitations. You know, we are simply, you know, seeing in the past century alone the, the rapid exponential expansion of potential in every direction. And in the past decade, we've seen that exponential climb even into greater heights and in the past you know, literally the past year, again, another exponential expansion. So it is moving very, very rapidly in our outer world. And it's, of course, I think also becoming very difficult and challenging uh, as a result if we are outward focused. And, you know, a lot of my work is about taking that attention within and really learning to connect with who we are. Mm -hmm. So certainly, you know, it is, is necessarily understandable that, you know, we are outward focused. We do live in this world. And this world is rapidly changing, so it's very easy to get lost in what others would call chaos. You know, what what seems to be impending doom, gloom, challenges at every corner. You know, things that that are, seem so overwhelming. That I would like to present a different perspective and share a different way of looking at life, going more from within, recognizing our own unlimited potential, coming from the place of creation through our imagination, through our willpower, very practical, very grounded ways of understanding ourselves. And, and in this series, we'll, we'll cover kind of the whole circular evolution, you know, going within, understanding what is unconditional love, you know, what does that mean? You know, how do we connect with it? What, what's the point? What's the purpose? And moving into like that inner awakening, that inner expansion, and then really beginning to look beyond just who we think we are, because that certainly is one of the biggest challenges we face at the moment, is we have become so conditioned to think we are very specifically our outer manifestation, you know, our outer physical body, you know, our relationship to our physical body, the relationship to our intellect, whether we think we're smart or not, the relationship to our emotions, whether we feel things on a deep level or not, you know, whether or not we, you know, have the right material items in our life, whether we are socially connected. I mean, these are all still going to be there once we've completed this process, but we're going to have a completely different perspective by the end of this series in recognizing 
and observing ourselves in relationship to the world around us. And in that observation, we're going to really come to understand more of who we are. Because of course, you know, a lot of this is actually based on my personal experiences over the last two decades plus. Mm -hmm. And even, you know, from having written the book, uh, you know, I've, my experiences have you know grown that much more. And so all I'm really choosing to do here is to share a variety of different ways of looking at life and, and hopefully add a few practical um, pieces that can assist people to become aware of their potential, become aware that, you know, they are a beautiful, wonderful, magnificent being, that they are in fact, you know, an integral part of everything that's going on on the planet right now, and that they can actually have a more positive impact. You know, that, that anybody that watches this video, I really would hope that, you know, through each of the, the presentations and, and certainly if they watch through the entire series, that they really come out recognizing just how amazing they are and then how amazing everyone else is and how amazing the life on the planet is and just how, how much beauty and perfection and joy is all around us if we choose to put our attention on it. If we choose to look for the things that are going right, if we choose to, to actually add our energy to make this a better world, to actually learn more about ourselves so that we actually understand who we are. I, you know, I think that is probably the fundamental essence, you know, in a way of loving unconditionally is we have to understand who we are because we are so, again, conditioned, indoctrinated, and there's such strong um, momentum and inertia towards being something we're not, you know, status, class, life, position, you know, and, and striving and dreams and hopes and goals, you know, these are all wonderful ways to maneuver through life. However, when we are simply externally focused, we tend to forget who we are in relationship to all that. And this series in particular is going to be really about developing and understanding and connecting with who we are at a pure, deep, balanced core level. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, you know, sharing more as we explore these in a bit greater detail, you know, and, and, and kind of looking at from different standpoints and different perspectives. And, and certainly it will be its own evolution and everybody will have their own type of experience in relationship to uh, this particular series because it will touch on potentials and will also touch on some of the things that we've held on to that have not necessarily been for our benefit. You know, things that are really now outmoded, outdated, they, they simply don't serve us anymore. And sometimes that detaching and that letting go of things that, you know, we've become very accustomed to, you know, that can be a, a bit of a challenge for us. It could be a bit of a struggle at times and, and, and certainly can be a bit of a chaos as, as we kind of notice some of the things that are going on in our outer world. It's because they're, you know, energies, their they're desires, hopes and dreams of things that really no longer serve. And, you know, we're becoming more aware of our collective interconnected, interdependent relationship with one another. You know, the, the what used to be, you know, a village is now a globe. You know, what used to be knowing just the people around us, now we are interconnected with people all around the world. Certainly, my case, absolutely, you know, and on a regular basis, connecting with people in over 150 countries. Um, you know, that that's quite astonishing compared to where I was. So part of this will be about sharing some of my experiences and how I've come to understand this. and mostly we would be exploring ways to help one another, you know, connect to and then be, and really, you know, as we kind of leave this series, it's going to be talking, you know, at the closure, uh, we'll be really looking at how we can make a positive, genuine, positive, fruitful, expansive difference in the world mm -hmm. and actually bring about the talents and the gifts and all the wonderful things that we have into the world very consciously, very readily, very lovingly, very clearly, uh, very unconditionally. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a really great series and, and one that I'm looking forward to, you know, exploring w with you and with the, our audience. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, uh, normally, you would be talking in really quite universal terms and also timeless terms, but I think this, this time we're going to be looking um, at what's going on in the world today and, and how we can bring these the, these ideas into our, our lives and make them relevant for today, aren't we? 
Yes, it's certainly the, the, in a way we could say the need of the hour, you know, and, and I can say like for myself, having, you know, started an inner awakening process that I can't really even pinpoint, you know, particularly exactly when, you know, there was a conscious recognition because once I started to wake up to who I really am in a big way, you know, a more noticeable, more tangible way, that's when I started to become aware of the fact that there were lots of little indicators long before that. You know, I can remember, you know, as a, as a youth, you know, waking up from an afternoon nap one day, you know, probably early teenage years and, you know, coming to, and as I was coming to in that semi-lucid state, I was thinking, wow, this is such an amazing world, such an amazing dream. You know, why would we go to such great depths to, you know, put dust on the window frame? You know, it didn't make sense to me. And of course, mind you, I'm in a semi-lucid coming out of, a, of an awakening, you know, state from a nap. And this was what was, you know, coming in my contemplation. And as I came more fully to, the idea was, well, what if this is really the dream? And what I had just been in, in the nap state and the dream state was the reality. Mm -hmm. You know, this happened many, many years prior. And yet I've reflected upon that idea so many times over the last couple of decades, thinking in terms of like the fact that what I thought was so tangible and real in my early adulthood life, what I thought was so absolute, you know, this is the way I needed to live, this was what a career was, this what family was, what relationships were, what friendships were. I mean, I can say over the last couple of decades, all of that has been tossed out and, and reformulated in my life with a completely different perspective. Still have family, I still have relationships, friendships, and I still have activity that I do on a regular basis, but I have a completely different way of relating to it, a much more unconditional, much more accepting, much more compassionate uh, recognition, both for myself and everyone and everything around me, as to essentially make it almost as if it was two different lifetimes, literally, mm -hmm. compared to where I have been and where I am now, you know, it still functions the same way. And yet my relationship with life is so much more expanded, so much more diverse. You know, I have courage to do things that I could not have even fathomed as a possibility previously. Hmm. I have the recognition and ability of who I am that I know that if I place my attention upon it and if I really choose to have it, really choose to create it, that, that the way to make it happen will f come to me. You know, and these are the things that make life richer as an experience. And certainly, and as you've just mentioned, in these particular times where things are changing exponentially, almost on a daily basis, and, and literally we've come to a point where we, we don't always rec readily know from one day to the next how things will be, I think it will be highly beneficial uh, for us to reference some of the things that we can do, some of the things that we have experienced, and know that these are, these are qualities, aspects, techniques, ideas, concepts, practical things that we can do to keep bringing ourselves as one whole unit, as one unlimited being, as one that is in this world but not of it, one of us that, you know, where we can actually be a part of the world in a very positive way rather than where I was and certainly where I think a lot of people have been and are in a very reactionary way because they don't understand the bigger picture. They don't see the relationship. They don't see the richness, the beauty, the diversity. Um, you know, we've gotten very stuck at holding on to what was, which of course is an irony is it's, it's really not true. I mean, we are constantly changing. The world is constantly changing. There is never an instance where one moment the next where there isn't a different outer reality. It's just that when it moves this fast and this swift, we try even harder to hold on to some semblance of what we think is mm -hmm. important or secure or safe. When in fact, in many instances, letting go is how we actually flow. And how we actually maneuver these times is by not attaching ourselves to absolutely every circumstance, situation, person, event, thought, idea, and in fact, we allow ourselves to think about things, contemplate things, meditate upon things, meditate on the silence, meditate on the peace, actually bring in and incorporate, breathe. You know, these are the types of things we'll be covering. These are the things we'll be talking about over the course of this series. We're very practical, useful, um, natural, universal 
things that anyone can do, anyone, you know, no matter where they are in, in their life, where they are on the planet, they can do these things as a way to expand their consciousness. Because really what we're doing is we'll be exploring and, and, and expanding our consciousness to incorporate the subtleties like intuition. Always there, tremendous gift, amazing connection to something that is much greater than ourselves and really is beyond our normal understanding of thoughts and feelings or our physical reality. Intuition, you know, seems to come from a place that is not of this world at times, you know, literally it just seems to drop in and yet that intuition can be such an incredible gift and, and bit of wisdom that when recognized, acknowledged and acted upon can actually avert great difficulties. You know, and we would never know because the difficulty actually disappears because we followed our intuition. You know, how do we touch that? How do we connect with that? How do we make all these incredible gifts that are a part of who we are, a part of our reality, and then walk out in the world with that knowing, with that self-love, self-acceptance, self-worth, self-esteem, all the things that we crave, literally be a walking master, a walking example, being ourselves. Because what we're really striving to do is find out who we are in relationship to all the things we've been taught, all the things that are going on. Who are we in relationship to all these things? And can we bring more love into our experience, into our personal experience, and into the outer world? And in that case, that's been my dedication and my work for over 20 years is, yes, we can. We absolutely can bring more love into every moment and bring more love into every experience, every relationship, into every creation, material or otherwise. So it, it is, you know, very much based on my experiences. And yet my desire has always been to help to share, to not say this is the way it's done. Absolutely not. This is the way I've come to it. But certainly everyone has that, that same potential to bring about their own unique understanding as you have. I mean, and in this particular case is what we're talking about. I, you know, I share, I think, a very fundamental mutual um, desire and understanding about where we are at the planet right now and just how much potential we have. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if we're, if we're saying that many people are, are living in a kind of dreaming state, perhaps we all are to some degree, we're talking about how to wake up from that dreaming state and what we find, what kind of a world we find, who we are, and how we live in, in, in this, this new world in a way which hopefully will be a lot more positive perhaps than it's been for quite some time. Well, in a way, take, take I hesitate to use the word control because that, that has an overbearing energy, but really take mm -hmm. back responsibility for our life is probably the best way to say because in all of what we talk about in all these series it is easy to construe what is being discussed as being you know so fanciful based on the outer world where everything seems so tangible and concrete mm -hmm. you know that that this can be considered by some as you know just hogwash it's not useful it's not relevant you know how can you love what's the purpose of love you know we have to go out and protect ourselves we have to you know somehow you know make this a, a better world but we have to control this world where in fact what we're talking about is really being a part of this world, really reconnecting to the fact that every part of our body, for example, right now is a recycled bit of this earth. Mm -hmm. We are water, we are earth, we are fire, we are you know, air, we are recycled bits of this earth. We come from the earth and we will go back to the earth in that sense. And yet the thing that we have that is so extraordinary is our consciousness while we're in these physical bodies and we're not even paying attention to the trillions of little physiological chemical reactions that are for example going on right now you know that are even sustaining and maintaining and even giving us the ability to to voice to speak much less talk about the external things you know of how the technology and the interaction is allowing something like this to even come about there's such absolutely amazing extraordinary stuff going on that when we are so outwardly focused, when we're so caught up literally in our heads, in our minds, so caught up in our emotions from yesterday's, so concerned about 
what we thought we did, you know, in the past or what we are afraid of what might come down in the future or having reactions to someone not living according to our preconceived standards or ideas or I think what most people are, are challenged with is not living up to their own standards in relationship to what they think they should be in accordance to what everyone else in culture and society says they should be. You know, these are the things that we want to move beyond. We want to understand them. They, there, we get that. How can we actually connect to our truer selves, our more real selves? How can we connect to this consciousness? How can we actually expand our consciousness so that we can be in this world, connect with the people, and simultaneously have love for ourselves and the people around us, have conscious creation, you know, recognizing the connection between ourselves and other people, recognizing in, in simultaneous ways the connection to who we are in this physical earth. Because in fact, when we do that, we have a completely different perspective and understanding. And now all of a sudden we start to recognize, well, we're gonna do things that are truly beneficial to our physical body. You know, we're going to do things that are going to recognize the fact that our consciousness moves in this body and we, we're gonna take good care of it. We're also gonna recognize that we come from this earth, we go back to this earth, so this earth is our home. Mm -hmm. So we best be taking really good care of our earth because this is where we get our nourishment, this is where we get our connection. This is where we have life on this planet is through our connection to the earth. Our relationships to other people, when we recognize who we are, when we recognize on a core deep level of just who we are, we start to recognize everyone else the same way. And now we start having completely different relationships because we recognize our potential, we recognize potential in others, we recognize our limitations, we understand the limitations in others. When we understand who we are and we live by our own truth, we no longer are bound by other people's ways of looking at life. And we let them be where they are. And this is where the unconditional comes in. This is where the unlimited comes in. So it's, it's really going to be a fantastic journey mm -hmm. over the next seven episodes of this particular series. And what's going to be even more fantastic is what people who experience this and go through this and choose to do this and are already doing this, what they will do to make this a much better world for all of us and are doing right now. So it's a very great, fun, enjoyable, interesting, challenging opportunity mm -hmm. um, for each of us to really explore who we are, really explore our unlimited potential, and really explore our unconditional love. And I'm looking forward to it. Oh, that's great. It uh, yeah, promises to be uh, really interesting, as the others have been as well. And uh, so thanks very much for that. What's, um, what's likely to be the, the, the first episode of, of this? Well, I think we the first episode is, is going to be uh, going through the fundamentals literally going through the unconditional love and you know defining it understanding it because i think we need to, to lay that framework that groundwork that foundation mm -hmm. so that we can move forward and really begin to expand and we're going to kind of take it from the standpoint that that we really you know have discovered that there's something in us that is really quite potent and we're just going to dive right into the explanation you know it's going to be a fairly fast moving series in the sense that we're going to as you said cover a lot of material in, in the highlights, you know, we're not going to necessarily go into the great depths that say the book goes into, uh, partially because what I'm really hoping people do is they explore their journey for themselves. And that's what we're going to really look at is some things that people can consider for their journey so that they can consider where their potential lies within themselves and connect to that potential. And I think we need to lay out the groundworks, you know, in, in our next episode, we're going to talk about the unconditional love and how to connect with that piece as a beginning point. Great, okay, well we look forward to that. Thanks very much. Thanks, pleasure. pleasure.